Whether you're just beginning your adventure or already immersed in the game, obtaining your first diamond may be at the top of your list. Diamonds are quite useful and there are many reasons why you want one very early, either to fuse it and enhance your current weapon, sell it for 500 rupees, or duping it with a glitch. As for me, I just want to offer this diamond to Pura and impress her. So, here are some quick tips on getting your first diamond. From the lookout landing, head directly to Central Hyrule toward the gates of Hyrule Castle. As you pass through the gates, you see a balcony where you can climb up to. This window is the entrance to the castle's observation room. Climb it slowly to conserve your stamina. While climbing, there is also a platform where you can rest so make sure you get some rest before continuing the climb. Once you're inside, you'll notice a small hatch on the floor. Use your ultra hand to open it. This leads you to the royal hidden passage. Dive down this path and you'll find the chest. Inside that chest is your first diamond. And there you have it, your first diamond. If you still want more diamonds at this early part of the game, you can continue further down and mine some ore deposits. But watch out for monsters. These ores, especially the gold ones, have a chance to drop diamonds, but not always, so you have to pray to the RNG gods to bless you. Luckily, there's a trick. Save the game before you smash the ores. If you don't get a diamond on your first try, just reload the game and try again. Keep doing this until you finally get a diamond. There are many other locations to find diamonds. But this for me is the earliest available and the quickest way. Thank you for watching. It means a lot. Please like and subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom.